Hey guys, it's Katie Did here, and I'm back with another review for you guys today. So, today I am reviewing for you these Higgins inks. So, I have got four colors here. I have got black, white, carmine, or carmine, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, and indigo. I reached out to the Higgins company, and they super nicely decided that they wanted to send us something to review. So, I cannot wait to review these. Um, I've always wanted to try a set of these, so I'm really, really excited to be doing a review for you guys. I will leave all of Higgins' links and where you can buy these down below in the description so you can find them if you like them. Uh, so let's get into it. First things first, these all come with an eyedropper. Um, I kind of find that these are a little stiff to push out, so I don't really use the eyedropper much. I also find that these two, um, Indigo and Carmine, they kind of stink a lot when you open them. Um, I'm not really sure what they smell like, but they stink. Not that it's, like, a harmful odor, I don't think. It's just kind of annoying, more or less. Now that these are all opened, I am going to be doodling with a brush. Now, I'm going to be showing you a couple different techniques. Uh, these are all water-soluble, so I'm going to be showing you what they look like with watercolors and then what they look like just with a straight pigment. Of course, with white, it's going to be a little different. I love watercolory effects. They're so pretty. Alright, so there is black with the watercolor. And then here is just the straight up black with no water added. Alright, next we're going to be doing carmine. Carmine, however you want to say that. And then the straight up carmine. Now I will tell you that the black and white inks are waterproof, whereas the carmine and indigo are not waterproof. So keep that in mind whenever you are doing a painting. That was indigo, if I didn't say it already. Uh, that was with the water, and this is just straight up indigo. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. Now, when you mix them with water, they do tend to dry fairly slowly. Now, I'm going to lay down some black so I can show off the white whenever it dries. But these colors are very, very vibrant. They're very beautiful. Um, I absolutely love them. But this white is very, very opaque, and I love that. And with a couple of coats, you can have that black completely covered, which is always nice. Now, you want to always shake these bottles before you use them because they tend to settle a little bit. And you're not really supposed to drop your brush. So, some more details. Black is pigment-based, whereas the carmine, indigo, and um, white are all dye-based. They go on really well, and they're really pigmented. I think I've already said that a million times. Uh, and they're really good for practicing in ink. So if you're not sure whether you want to get into ink, but you want a kind of cheaper alternative to get into it and maybe not feel so guilty about screwing up, this is like the ink for you. Because I've never painted with ink, and I love this stuff, and it's probably the best I've ever bought. And that sounds very, like, trying to sell you stuff, but it really is it's honest opinion here. So, let's get into some random illustration. All of these colors, except for white, are recommended for use with dip pens and brushes. The white is just recommended with brushes. I, they don't recommend you put that in your dip pen. They all come in little one ounce bottles. The black, carmine, and indigo have slow drying times, whereas the white has a very slow drying time. All in all, I really love these inks. They're really, really fun to play with, and I really hope you like this review. If you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. You can also follow me on DeviantArt, Page World, and Twitter if you'd like to. Uh, also, please don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more things like this. Comment down below if there's a review you want me to do. Until next time, bye!